What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over bionanogenomics, ticker symbol BNGO, and how it's very possible that in the near future, they secure some pretty substantial government funding. Now, we talked about some bionanogenomics government funding uh, about three weeks ago, uh, and we were kind of drawing conclusions uh, on the articles that we were reading. But this article that came out yesterday was actually very influential and strongly suggests that bionanogenomics could be a strong candidate for government funding in the near future. So we're going to go over all of the reasons why bionanogenomics might be getting a substantial amount of funding in the near future. We're also going to be going over some of the catalysts that are coming up in bionanogenomics near future that could send the stock going higher. Now, although we have a lot of these really good catalysts, if bionanogenomics starts to go on a massive uptrend like we've seen before, it is always possible that we get another shot share offering. Now, today we see that bionanogenomics is down almost 12%. And we see that after hours, the stock bounced up uh, about 2%. So we are not really at any risk, in my opinion, right now of another share offering, but that is always something that ne we need to keep in mind. So before we get into all of the other information, if you guys enjoy the information that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So coming over to this article that was put out the other day, we can see the government rushes virus gene mapping as mutations spread. So the U.S. is scrambling to expand DNA mapping, which is what bionanogenomics does, optical genome mapping of samples taken from patients to identify potentially deadlier mutations that are starting to spread around the country. So if we come down a little bit further, on Wednesday, the White House announced a scaled up push by the Centers for D Disease Control and Prevention and by a U.S. Army Biodefense Institute. But the more significant action is on Capitol Hill, where a White House bill headed for floor debate would provide $1.75 billion for genomic sequencing. Thing. Scrolling down a little bit further in this article, we can actually see how much money will be allocated to mapping. If we come down here on a parallel track, a U.S. Army Biodefense Institute will increase coronavirus gene mapping to 10,000 samples a week by the end of the month, up from 4,000. So they are actually getting into gene mapping, and we are seeing lots of money, like here, 200 million uh, for the CDC to increase genomic sequencing to up to 25,000 samples a week or triple the current level. If this legislation is passed and bionanogenomics is able to get government funding for the use of their Sapphire product, or if the government starts using the Sapphire product, bionanogenomics is going to go absolutely crazy. Now, this is speculation, but if we come over here, we can see that on January 11th, bionanogenomics announced the first publication from the Pandemic Host Genome Structural Variant Consortium. The study found that optical genome mapping with BioNano Sapphire system identified structural variants that affect genes in pathways that control immune and inflammatory response, viral reproduction, and mucosal function. The authors believe these structural variants may provide key insights into the pathogenesis of uh, the pandemic and outcomes in patients who become severely ill. Now, with this study out and the government funding that is supposed to be going towards genome mapping, uh, it makes makes sense that bionanogenomics would be able to secure a lot of this government funding. The CEO of Bionanogenomics actually made some very specific comments about this study. If we come down a little bit further, Eric Homlin, a PhD and CEO of Bionanogenomics, commented the pandemic continues without signs of slowing down. This study demonstrates that the wide variation in symptoms exhibited by patients is likely not random for most of them, but instead at least partially the result of structural variants affecting critical pathways in patients' defenses against infection and immune response to the disease. The results also demonstrate that even when a disease has already been studied extensively with sequencing, optical genome mapping, which is what the new government funding is going to be for, with Sapphire has the potential to reveal significant insights not seen without it. That, in my opinion, 
is extremely important. If uh, bio-nanogenomics and their sapphire is really capable of doing this at a high scale, the government is going to give them money. Now, we are going to have to wait and see if bio-nanogenomics is uh, going to be on the list of companies that secures any of this funding, but if they do, bio-nanogenomics will go crazy. Now, no funding or anything has happened yet. Just that article came out, and when you pair it with this study, it, bionanogenomics becomes a good candidate for getting funding. Now, bionanogenomics also has a couple of very important catalysts coming up in its near future as well. If we come over here, we can see advances in genome biology and technology. This is going to be similar to the symposium that bionanogenomics had in the beginning of January and the festival of genomics and biodata that happened uh, at the end of January. And both times, a lot of good research studies and pieces of news came out about bio nanogenomics, sending the stock going way higher, which is why I think that this AGBT event is going to be very important. If we come over here, we can actually get some more insight into this event. But really, if we scroll down, all we are going to see at the current time is that bio nanogenomics is a sponsor of this event. The actual details of this event are listed above. We can see that significant scientific advances are announced and showcased. That is the Sapphire. Scientific and industry forge enduring partnerships and significant investments and notable acquisitions are made. So that, in my opinion, doesn't have a lot to do with bio nanogenomics. I don't think that they're going to be merging or acquiring another company in the near future. Uh, they're doing a great job with what they have going on with the Sapphire. They also partnered up with Microsoft and their platform to significantly decrease the cost and compute time when analyzing the data that be, uh, that gets spit out by the sapphire then moving over to bio nanogenomics twitter page they have announced an event on february 24th and essentially what this is going to be able to do is that if you were an investor in this company you are going to be able to learn a little bit more about how uh comprehensive detection of structural variation has solved genetic mysteries brought clarity to genetic disease and cancer. So you're just going to get a little bit more insight into what bio nanogenomics does as a company. So that's going to be very interesting. If you are an investor and you want to learn a little bit more about the company that you have put your hard earned money into, this is definitely going to be a great event to listen into. Now, a lot of what they are going to say is going to be very good news, in my opinion, about bio nanogenomics. They're not going to come out and say anything bad about the company. So don't get too excited uh, about anything that you hear during this event. It's just going to serve uh, as kind of a, a knowledge boost for the individuals that don't know a lot about uh, what bio nanogenomics does as a company. Now, moving back over to the chart of bio nanogenomics, I am recording this after the after hours trading period concluded on Thursday, February 18th. So we saw a very significant decrease in share price of bio nanogenomics in this day. Now, we did see over the past week that bio nanogenomics absolutely rocketed up from the $11 range up into the mid to high $15 range. Now, overall, bio nanogenomics is still up between 10 and 15% in the last week. So if you are a long-term investor in this company, I don't believe that you have anything to worry about. But anything that I say in these videos is always for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor and everything that I talk about is for educational purposes only. I cannot stress that enough. Now, uh, this 11-12% uh, dip in bio nanogenomics, if this holds up and it keeps getting pushed lower because the overall market has been very weak this past week, I think this is going to be a very good dip to buy, either to increase your overall position in bio nanogenomics or to initiate a new position in this company if you do not already have one. So that is going to conclude this update on bio nanogenomics. Now, I think that if bio nanogenomics is going to work with the government in any capacity, we are going to see a massive increase in share price. We saw this happen with a lot of the companies towards the beginning of the pandemic where they were getting government contracts and they were part of Operation Warp Speed and their valuations went absolutely nuts. Now, nothing is confirmed right now. We're going to have to wait and see. But in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense that bio nanogenomics would get some government funding uh, for the near future. Now, what do you guys think? Make sure you comment down below if you think that bio nanogenomics would be a good candidate for this government funding. In my opinion, with their pandemic study and this news that is 
come out, they are a good candidate, but I want to hear what you guys think. So make sure you comment your thoughts down below. So that's going to conclude this update. Now, I hope you guys are having a really profitable day. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. So I hope you guys again are having a really profitable day and I'll see you guys in the next video.